People often ask me which one of my shoes is my favorite. What kind of question is that, man? That's like asking which one of my kids is my favorite. My daughter, <coughs> pardon me. <laughs> but all jokes aside though, I love all my shoes equally, so it's very hard for me to pick which one is my favorite. But I can tell you which one of them that I wear the most. And it's not the one that you're expecting because I haven't spoken about the shoes on this channel at all. There was a pair of shoes that I bought on Black Friday, at, I believe it was 2014. Those shoes retail for around $300. There was a sale, so with shipping, plus the shoe trees, the shoes ended up costing me under $200. Like these shoes are not my best shoes by any stretch, but those shoes always hold a special place in my heart because that's when I realized you can dress nicely and buy some nice shoes without breaking the bank. Now the reason why I bring up those shoes is because I was about to drop them off at the cobbler, and then I'm like, I should make a before video because those shoes need TLC really, really bad. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So these are the shoes here. Once again, I've never spoken about these shoes before. They're a pair of Doug Brown Plain Cap to Oxford from Carlos Santos. If you look, like the heel is like not even anymore. This part is starting to wear out really bad. I don't know if it's something about the way I walk, but the left shoe always gets it the worst. So these shoes need to be resold ASAP. So this will be my second time resoling these shoes actually. And that's one great thing about Goodyear Wealthy Shoes. You can just take them to a reputable cobbler. I didn't even realize that they were that bad, man. So when I get them back, I'll do an after video so you can see what they look like after they get some TLC. But like I was saying, this video is not about shoes. We are gonna talk about the most versatile pair of trousers for fall and winter. Intro. Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Riche from ChaseAndRider.com. As I'm recording this, it's the week before Thanksgiving, so we're right in the middle of the fall. There's one pair of trousers that every man needs, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now, when it comes to trousers, it's very important that you have a pair of trousers that can play multiple roles. What I mean by that is you need a pair of trousers that you can dress up and that you can also dress down. This is probably not going to be a surprise to most of you because I've spoken about it on this channel before, but flannel is my favorite suiting material. It also happens to be my favorite trousers material. Every man needs a pair of flannel trousers for the fall and winter, but you're probably wondering which pair should you get since they come in so many different colors. One trousers color that you can never have too many of is gray, but when it comes to gray, there are so many different shades. The most versatile trousers for fall and winter is a medium gray flannel. I could have went with a light gray or I could have went with a charcoal, but medium gray is right in the middle and it matches with a lot more than let's say light gray or dark gray. Although you need all three, but if I had to pick just one, I would just pick the medium gray. The great thing about flannel is you can dress them up or you can dress them down. For example, if you have a medium gray flannel suit, you can just swap the jacket for a blue blazer or a brown Prince of Wales sport coat. Like the medium gray flannel goes with so many different jackets. It also feels right at home if you're wearing a cardigan or any kind of knitwear. Now when it comes to your flannel trousers, one thing to consider is the weight. You want the weight to be at least 12 ounces. Anything less than 12 ounces is probably not going to be heavy enough and it's probably going to lose its shape rather easily. So 12 ounces and up, 12 to 15, 16 ounces is what I would recommend. Flannel trousers are typically pretty expensive, starting at around $200 at most retailers. But one that I do recommend, I mean, you don't have to get it from them, but Spear and McKay has some really nice flannel trousers. They have one that come with belt loops and a medium rise for $148. And they also have a style that has pleats and a higher rise with side adjusters. And those go for $158. So those are really good options at a pretty good price. If you've never used Spear and McKay before, I have a 20% off code that I always include in the description so you can get those trousers for even less. Um, actually, I have one here that I just got from them. I haven't taken it to the tailor yet, so I still have to add two inch cuffs to them. And that's the one that come with the high rise and the side adjusters, of course. As you know, this is my preference. Like I don't remember the last time I wore a belt, so all my trousers have side adjusters as opposed to belt loops. And all my pants have pleats, and I always prefer a high rise over, let's say, a medium rise. So this is the one that I have here. So yeah, once again, man, the most versatile trousers that every man should own is a pair of medium gray flannel. 
I recommend Spian McKay because it's such quality product at a very reasonable price. But you don't have to get it from them. Suit Supply has some really nice gray flannel pants. Bergenberg is another company that has some really nice gray flannel pants. There's a few different makers out there that carry those, but Spian McKay is the best one that I found at under $200. A couple things to consider about gray flannel. Gray flannel pants are timeless. They've been around for generations and generations. You never have to worry about your gray flannel pants going out of style. Gray flannel pants are also very low maintenance, assuming that you get the right pair. Once again, you want them to be at least 12 ounces. That way they can retain their shape. The lighter they are, the more wrinkled they get and start losing their shape and you have to keep taking them to the cleaners. And when it comes to gray trousers, you can never really have enough. Personally, I have about five pairs. I have a light gray. I have, I believe, three medium gray, and I have a charcoal. Gray flannel trousers, if you live in a climate that dip, let's say, under 60 degrees, is a must-have, man. You don't have to have every single color, but you definitely need at least one, and it should be medium gray. As I was saying, personally, I like a high rise, I like pleats, I like side adjusters, I like two inch cuffs. All those things are my preference, doesn't mean that yours have to look like that, which is a great thing since Spear and McKay offered both styles. You can just get a regular flat front with belt loops if that's what you like, or you can get the ones with the pleats and the side adjusters and you can add cuffs to them if that's what you like, you know what I mean? But it gives you that option. Gray flannel is really versatile. The only negative I can think of is you can't wear it all year round. I recommend that your gray flannel should be at least 12 ounces so that's not something that you really want to wear in the middle of july you know what I mean? so if you're considering gray flannel i would strongly recommend that you act now even though there's about three months left of winter most companies are already thinking about their spring and summer lineup and they don't usually replenish their inventory once you get to December. Once again, if you've never used Spear and McKay before, I have a 20% off code that I always include in the description. So the pair that costs $158, for example, like the one that I have here, would cost you less than $130. And in case you're wondering, since I get this question a lot, this is another Shibumi tie. This is from their Fall and Winter 2018 collection. This is another Ancient Matter tie. Shibumi is a brand from Germany, but the ties are made in Italy, so definitely check them out. So that was my take on the most versatile trousers for fall and winter. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe, or everybody gonna think that you're a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.